at Century Link Field. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 23-yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Here's Murray. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And this will be taken at the 13. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he whips that one incomplete there. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And he's going to get this deep on of Arizona's side of the field. Taylor. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 54 yards. First and 10 at the seven. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. The nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. First and goal from the three. Taking a first quarter lead. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. 7. Cardinals nothing. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Oh. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Andy Isabella was the intended target, and it's third down. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Throwing is Murray on third down, and that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> They'll come up second and six now from the 24. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now Murray fighting, lost the football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. At the 21-yard line. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? 
The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Where's 52? Block 52. They're going to look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So the drive stalls out. I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, and no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. With the score, Seahawks 10, Cardinals nothing. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's Murray, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Well, let's be frank, you hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline. Step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll get this complete to Batson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Cameron Batson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Makes the score Seahawks 17, Cardinals nothing. Michael Dixon to kick off for Seattle. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. Arizona. Out of the gun, Geis. 
just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. There's no doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Yards to go. Out of the gun, here's Murray. They'll check it down to Geis. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Arizona. And he'll go ahead and field this at the five. A great return there of 22 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Second and six. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Chandler Jones in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. You know, a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. The 42-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And finally out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. 48 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. But this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, at a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver, and it resulted in a touchdown. An extra point right down the middle. And a round is on here in this first half. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's Murray from midfield. That ball complete to Isabella. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. From the gun, Murray. Wide. 
wide open receiver complete. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Mark Andrews, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year. And our score will stay right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Steps away. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he is out of bounds. Inside the 35. For a Seahawks. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Mike 52, Mike 52. Did you score ball? Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8 yard line. That's back to back plays of over 20 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. At the five-yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Jonathan Taylor as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score Seahawks 31, Cardinals 6. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. He's going to wind up and air it out. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 32. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intercepted. 
The Seahawks take over first and 10 at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll throw now on the final play. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision... ...to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. ...at their own 18-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Now Wilson on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Play action, it's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. D.K. Metcalf, his 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. Makes the score. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will extend this big lead. From the 10. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. At their own 28-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time was it pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Out to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf, but it's going to be second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Play action. Now Wilson. He goes right back to Metcalf, this time complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. At the 19-yard line. Now it's Wilson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. 
A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Wilson will throw again. And this is caught at the eight. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. A loss of two there, second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Flushed out right. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. From eight yards out, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Tell you what, not every quarterback is going to stay in the pocket. They sense the pressure coming. He took a hit there, still was able to stay in, make the throw, and complete it for a score. And a lot of times you see a quarterback take a hit like that, and now all he wants to do is protect the football, just take the sack and not turn it over. But not in this case. Took the big shot and found his guy downfield. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now Murray throwing on second down. Flush to his right. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Here we go with Geis, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a four-yard pickup, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been any. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say, that oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked up by Jamal Adams, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Complete to no All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and three.
They go play action now. Wilson. He's got his man on the crossing route. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. A big play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now a dump off here complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 11 yards there, first down. A gain of 11 on the play. First play fake, Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A gain of 22 yards on the pick up there. And at Seattle, Washington. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Arizona. A very solid gain of 27. On first and 10, here's Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Complete. To Christian Kirk, his 11th Arizona. touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals are able to make things a bit more respectable. The Cardinal offense not going anywhere. They'll stay out and go for two. Throwing again, Murray. And this is caught, so they do get the two. Still a very large deficit, but maybe something to feel a little better about. 14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he's going to get this deep on the Arizona side of the field. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 62 yards. Wilson swings this out to Metcalf. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal. They nearly had the touchdown, but he's going to be marked out of bounds just shy of the pylon. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. to Chubb. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Nick Chubb, his 11th touchdown of the year. And this offense is running away with this one. And his kick is good. Makes the score Seahawks 59. Cardinals Out is the kickoff 14. unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and 10. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Carlton Davis picks it. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. 
Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. I think it's okay there they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he's got his man on the out route. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Joey Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point right down the middle. And that will extend this big lead. This is taken just shy of the 10. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he'll be out right at the 35. They're on 35 yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it, and I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller, because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you can play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence yeah, in him, and let him fling another one. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And it'll be second and 11. Operating from the gun. Murray escaping the pressure right. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 26. First down, Murray sliding out of the pocket. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Bobby Wagner, multiple times in all pro, in there to drop him for a loss. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. This one caught by Isabella. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. On first down, this is Geis. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the 5-yard line. Tackle made at the five yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one sided affair. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Well, I do have one word for that touchdown for you, Party. You ready? Yeah. Cosmetics. <laughs> Just makes things look a little better. I don't know. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah, and it's hard, it's hard to do, too. And the pig doesn't like the lipstick a heck of a lot, but he do like the fact that they're battling down the stretch, still trying to put something on the board, even though this game is over. By the way, how rude is that to the pig? Look at all the things they give us. Pulled pork, bacon. Gonna throw, eluding the pressure right. And he fires one incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. Two 
Throwing again. Wilson is going to fire one deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. That's complete right around the 8. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot. And he will get into the thing as ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left, because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it, because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Now Murray off play action. And my goodness, another interception. Carlton Davis picks it. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Wilson wants to throw it and give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. One point after, right down the middle, and that will extend this big lead. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Murray, one final try. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. 